All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about my civilian Minuteman kit. This is a fast mobile setup. It's not meant to be uh, weighing you down, not meant to have a ton of gear in it. This is a quick mobile, get the heck out of Dodge. Come, I also built a backpack for it. This comes with us either way. Right now, uh, just a quick heads up, this plate carrier is incomplete with the placard, but I've made it work so far what I have. So, you know, better to have it than not have it, right? Okay guys, so first up, my broomstick. This is a real simple, I wouldn't even want to call it a beater. It's a Colt A3, AR-15 A3, semi-automatic. This is not an assault rifle as much as you want it to be. You liberals watching, I know it. This is not an assault rifle. Got all Magpul furniture, adjustable stock. Yes, so I can aim it better and have better accuracy so I can get rounds on target that I want to hit, the intended target, not all over the place, right? So it's actually better to have braces and things that are going to brace the weapon securely, okay, rather than spraying all over the place. So that's what we got there. That's Magpul. Magpul grip I love. Some Magpul see-through round magazine. Magpul, uh, Magpul rail and BCM, Bravo Company uh, handguard here and surefire flashlight nothing done to the trigger no sights like the iron sights like i said beater gun that's a tough word for it i would call it more just like my go-to it's got a one and eight twist on the barrel so this is not the a2 which is basically an m4 which is pretty much this is an m4 uh, but you know it just doesn't have that grenade launcher notch in here uh, but that's about it uh, the only difference with that, so Haley Strategic Sling. One thing I like to do always is to make sure you can get in and out of your sling easily and fast. All right, so if you wanna go ahead and try that a few times and make sure you have that down, because you wanna be able to, to do that. And that's part of the reason why I do this little thing at home, put this all on. Make sure you know your shoulder area is nice and clean and you have your, your stock there uh, and make, you know, make sure you're able to bring the rifle up into your shoulder smoothly and no obstructions. You know, that's why it's always funny when I see all these guys, they come out and they have all this jazz all over their plate carriers and I just, I don't understand that. But uh, for me, this is lightweight, fast, mobile and uh, that's, that's how we built this kit. So. Uh, another thing that you want to do when you're doing all this and trying all this stuff on and making sure things are where you want it to be because obstructions will impede your ability to save your life or someone else's and every second, every fraction of a second counts when you're in a gunfight. God forbid any of you ever are. Um, <clears throat> so make sure things are clear. One thing you also want to do is go ahead and make sure your magazines, your reloads, are in a spot where you're easily uh, able to get to them. And you wanna practice that kind of thing. All right, you don't wanna leave that up to pure instinct because it's not it's something that's repetitive. It takes time, muscle memory. You wanna make sure you have that down, you know where your magazines go. Side, make sure it's comfortable everything's where you want it to be check your magazines make sure they're in the right order so when you pull it and drop it it can go right in so another thing you want to make sure you could do is turn your rifle to the side and be able to run with it now you can run like this, you can run like this. 
But if you're really trying to run fast and get to where you need to go, you want to run like this, especially if you need to hop over a fence or any of those things like that. You want the rifle down here at your side and you want to run. So make sure you have nothing obstruction here if you want to do that. I know some guys like to have trauma kits and all kinds of things. I keep my trauma kit here out of the way. I am a southpaw with a rifle. So having it here doesn't bother me. I can get it up quickly. Doesn't bother me at all. The Haley Strategic Sling. Easy to tighten up if I need it to, and uh, it's not a big deal. And it's easy to cinch up to me if I needed to do that. And I need it nice and nice and close to me. So let's pop this off <clears throat> for now, and we'll go over the actual plate carrier setup and some of the things I have, and my EDC items. Uh, for one. This plate carrier is not finished. I don't have my placard on there, which is why you see this hero clip kind of holding these two together so they don't come loose. This plate bag is a Cry Precision JPC 2.0. It will come undone by pulling these tabs. If you pull these tabs, these two here hard enough, this whole thing will just come, come right off. And uh, that's in case you're in the water and you're sinking or something like that. Or you could, uh, well, if this was undone, you could just tear these open, the whole thing will just come off. But I am searching for a placard, so if anybody has a good site where they can get one that's pretty decent, let me know. Haley Strategic, they're all sold out, so I don't even, don't even try it. Um, magazines, I got three 30 round magazines right here. Two of them are 30 round mag pools. So we got one see through mag here from Magpool. We have another 30 rounder here, just with some 5.56 in it. And then we have a BCM Bravo Company. So that's gonna focus there we go that's a bravo company mag it's a gi mag i love these it's actually my go-to that i keep in the firearm i always keep this gray one in there because this has uh, i believe these are hollow points but 556 five, natos I don't, i'm not sure which ones those are exactly uh, but when my green tips come in i'll be throwing those in there but <clears throat> um yeah so that's the rifle. Now my trauma kit, it's, it's basically here, but we're gonna go through uh, some of the things that I have up here. So first up here, I have just a quick, easy lock pick set, escape and evade situation. Uh, definitely need those. Lock pick set. And then my compass. So this is a Sunto, and this is a really good compass. You're gonna need that. Um, you know, to track where you're going, all kinds of different uses for a compass. So that's going to be up here. I probably won't have this on there, any kind of, you know, you know, eat shit or, you know, uh, liberal suck or, you know, gun this, gun ho, don't poop on me, any of that other, any kind of saying, badges, flags. Anything that's a, a marking that can easily tell who you are, get rid of. For me, this is just on there for the video, but during an actual situation, that would be gone. So, uh, no identifiable, easy identifiable objects on you at any time. That's just my thing. I've already been through this situation, so I kind of know and learn from that and, and what to do. One important thing is covering your face. So, always run that mask, you know, mask and some glasses. Now these glasses are a little over the top, but I really like them actually. And uh, so I'm just trying to get a little feelers out there on, on the video, but anyways, uh, EDC, as far as my backup firearm goes, this will never come out of here, but this is a Glock 43, and that's my backup firearm. Because in this situation, my primary weapon is in this situation, this is my primary firearm, so it's very unlikely I'm going to go to my Glock when I have a, an AR-15 on me. But it is there. It's a 9mm Glock 43, very easily concealable, and that's just going to be back there. Uh, also with my radio, bang bang. And another thing that I'll keep down here on my belt out of the way is my knife and that's a Bradford really badass knife it's 
so there you go get your ninja on put your alien gear on get your ninja on all right so we did that got the sharpie marker hiding out over here on the back right here well we'll get to that but that's a multi-tool uh for the rifle it's a sighting tool on there a couple other things never used it but it's there now my trauma kit that's on the side here um, I have a couple of things in there that I want easy access to, like a backup flashlight. Uh, this is a Lumen Top AAA, real simple little flashlight, not a big deal at all. Um, but my primary flashlight is going to be the Surefire on my rifle, all right? Because I'm going to have my rifle on me, so generally going to be uh, torching with this. Okay, so in my trauma kit. I'm also going to have my means of communication with the outside world or whoever via AirPods, right? The AirPod Pros must have, it goes with my phone, I can talk to whoever I'm talking to. Granted, cell phones are still working. Uh, and then we just have in there some tape, duct tape, and uh, alcohol wipes. Now my main trauma kit. You want to make sure that when you when you have this set up, when you're initially setting this up on your plate carrier, if you're going to go the route I am, which is light, fast, mobile, not a ton of stuff all over you, just basically what you need. You want to make sure your zippers are in a location where you can pull them and you're not like, you know, trying to be a contortionist to get things. So in here, we got NRA galls. We have a SWAT tourniquet, double as a compression bandage. We have a soft T tourniquet, Gen 4 really good tourniquet. We have NRA trauma dressing. And we have two high fin chest seals, Bennett. Okay, so gunshot kit. That's a stop the bleed kit right there. That'll help you uh, get out of get out of a really shitty day if you got shot or if someone got shot. Now we're gonna unbuckle this thing. And like I'll show you how easy this thing comes off. You can pull it and bang, this thing comes right off. It's actually even easier when you pull the tabs, but then I have to put all that stuff to back together and I don't feel like doing that. All right, so back here, I'm just gonna throw this thing on me like this and let you guys explore this back panel with me. Now, the front plate is in the front. I don't have a back plate, but we'll get into that because this fast and mobile kit is designed to be used with this bag. Now, either this bag goes in this bag and I use this backpack on my back, or I am just using this Molly to my plate carrier. It depends on the situation. I like having the two options. I know some guys have to have their kit set in stone for me. There's so many different situations that can arise and happen that I would rather have two different options. Like maybe I need to go out for a few nights, this with this inside it. Maybe I'm going out for a few hours, security check, recon, something like that. Then I'm just running this. Now, this, the tricky part about that is I don't have a plate in the back of this, but this backpack has a soft armor shell that'll stop a 308. Or, I'm sorry, 357. Um, now, the front plate will pull out at the end, and I'll show you guys my front plate. But So stick around if you want to see that. And also, if you're enjoying this, please leave a like. That really helps. But anyways, uh, so this is an infrared little bag from North American Rescue, and this is just a real quick little kit that I put together that is generally going to get me out of a shitty situation. Uh, but real, real quick, I wanted to show you guys just a little multi-tool. Uh, this has just got some, you know, simple basic tools in it to help with your rifle sighting tool. Not sure how good it works, but I have it back there. It's out of the way. It's not weighing anything, but it's there. Opening this flap here, I have two hydration uh, little guys, the things you put in water. And then I have my Sawyer water filter. And that's it for that. Oh, and I also... I took this out of there but because I need to replace it, but I keep a 400 gram uh, SOS bar in there too. 400 grams of protein in that bar. Alright, so inside here, first thing we got is a power bank, 10,000 milliamps, so charge your cell phone, uh, charge any kind of USB, stuff like that. We have some safety pins uh, on the side of here, 
And then I just put together a real quick fire kit, some alcohol pads, stormproof matches, a lighter, tin foil in case the ground's wet, need to light a fire. And so that's a little fire kit. Then I have some aqua tablets that I'll keep in there to freshen up water. And uh, there's that. Now, given the fact that Ukraine, Russia, China, Taiwan, all that's going on, I do have some thyroid tablets inside here and those are good for radiation attack your thyroid in case of a nuclear attack i don't have much else than that but this is better than nothing right yeah so and then uh the only other thing in here is two 20 round or two 20 round 556 five, um magazine it's just 20 rounders the smaller one backup emergency ar mag and that's pretty much it for this little kit the only other thing in here is some flat duct tape all right so Guys, that's essentially it for my, my plate bag and my plate carrier setup. Um, like I said, this thing's supposed to be light and fast, so I don't want to have a ton of stuff hanging off of it. I mean, this thing may, might weigh 15 pounds fully loaded, not, and probably not even that. Anyway, the plate has a lot to do with that, and the plate that I have in here is about $600 for this thing. It's a multi-curve, multi-hit rate at three plus threat. It'll stop a green tip, 762. It's polyethylene and it weighs about nothing. It's one of the best plates you can get. There you go. You can see the tag on there. And it fits in there nice and perfect. Fits on my chest perfect. But I have not been able to afford a rear one yet. Once I get the rear one, I might change my setup a little bit. But um, probably not because I do like the idea of having that backpack. But uh, we're, we probably will change some things as, as we evolve into this. Uh, but right now, I'm pretty happy with the way my kit is. So, going into the assault pack, let's just say I need it to go out for more time than normal. Uh, inside here, we keep just my uh, Hydro Flask. It's going to have some water in there because that's important. A flannel in case it gets cold. I am in Iowa, so um, it's still a little bit chilly at nighttime. But, you know... It's not it's getting to be a little warmer it's 80 degrees right now and then I just have my cook set kit this is the Pathfinder cook kit this has just about everything in there fire from a fire kit bowls canteens this is the, this thing's awesome I'll do a full review actually I did do a full review on this I'll leave the link in the description uh, and then the only thing I have in here is a Carhartt knit hat just in case and here is that soft armor in the back of that, and that'll stop a 357. Multi-hit rate it, some soft shell in the backpack, and that's pretty much it. By the way, this backpack is a recycled firefighter battalion, I think it's called. Not really sure, but it's their 12 by 12 one, kind of small. But guys, that is pretty much it for my assault kit um the only thing i would probably do that i didn't show is like i'll probably have an extra mag ar mag in my rear pocket probably have that in there i have an extra glock 43 magazine in my pocket i'll have a pocket knife um and you know some some of those basic everyday carry items that i would usually have on me would be on me anyways uh the only other thing i didn't show is probably my watch so just a real basic watch F, F, F 91W on a NATO strap. I love this thing. And so that's my beater watch that I would have on in this situation because it's going to work forever. And, um, you know, I don't care if I lose it or it breaks or anything like that. So, and I don't have to worry about dying. Like if I have my Apple watch or, you know, some other kind of watch, I have to worry about it breaking or getting damaged and not working. This I know is going to probably work. I have some G-Shocks too. I would probably maybe throw as a backup somewhere in my backpack make sure you turn them off because you don't want to be trying to hide and all of a sudden like some random alarm starts going off on your on your watch so this is one of those things where it's a gear check you know you're checking all your gear you're making sure all your ducks are in order make sure you have the stuff you need everything's where you want it to be you know things are easy to get to muscle memory you know where things are you know you don't have to look for things everything is where it should be you want to be very uh, good at that so anyways that's it guys like share subscribe i'll see you in the next one patron link will be below if you like this video give it a triple thumbs up or as many thumbs up as you can i guess they only let you do one
That's okay. I love you all. Peace.